Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, if you are looking for an option to a crossover that seats five people in comfort, then this 10th generation of Honda Accord might be some interest to you. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the interior, the exterior, and we'll be going on a drive in this 10th generation of the Honda Accord. So starting off from the front, you get this big chrome bar along with the Honda badging, which is again in chrome. At the bottom, you would uh, see this grill, big grill, which is again blank, glossy plastic grill. But in between, you would see like a squarish thing which has been uh, put in between these grills and that is the Honda Sensing uh, the sensors which have been fitted for the radar technology that this car comes with so it's got the lane assist and all of that so it functions using that and then there is another camera which is fitted at the top so using both of that they they just work the lane assist and then you get LED headlight cluster along with the DRLs and at the bottom again you would find this black sort of trim and inside them you would find this sort of uh, long fog lights again they are LED fog lights so the bonnet is an aluminium bonnet and because the the length of the bonnet is so long this makes the bonnet so easy to lift and you know operate so on the sides you get 17 inch alloy rims the design could have been a little better non power foldable but power adjusting side mirrors and then you get this smart keyless entry door system and these handles are also again chrome at the bottom also you would find a chrome strip that goes till the back and then you can see the general uh, sloping roof line but then yet there is quite a bit of space inside and also notice how low the car sits and it's a pretty long car now in the back you get c-shaped led tail lights along with the accord and the honda badging which are chromed out and a relatively simple bumper design but there is like a black piece of plastic trim which goes around the bumper at the bottom you would notice the exhaust tips are barely visible so this car still has dual exhaust tips but they, you you could still see like a chrome surround that they've given but then it's just slightly visible now in terms of the boot space this is by far the best boot space that you would find in a mid-size sedan so you get 470 liters of boot space and it's a very broad opening that you see so putting your luggage in and out is pretty easier there's also slight bit of a lip and also there are scruff plates so that you don't damage your bumper also the seats the rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 to 40 so there is like a lever which has been given out here so let me demonstrate you that there's a bit of a procedure yeah so that's how you push these seats you can also push them from the door but then i just wanted to show you all that it can be done from behind so you get a big loading space in the back when the seats are uh, dropped down again the, it's it's a very flattish sort of surface but the reason this floor has been raised is because you get a spare wheel which is again full size 17 inch spare wheel which is alloy as well and also a toolkit which is pretty cool so the moment you step inside the interior you would notice the choice of material is pretty good so you get soft touch plastics on the dashboard on the door cars and then there is this uh, plastic trim which is meant to look like uh, dark wood uh, design and it also goes around on the doors at the bottom there is normal plastic and a uh, carpet on the floor but overall it's a pretty good space to be in in the dashboard you get this big digital screen on one side and a speedometer so that digital screen works uh, in in so uh, showing you so many options so you can actually see like your tachometer you can see your range and view you can see speed and time audio phone navigation driving support where it actually tells you the distance between the car in front of you so that can be pretty handy when you are driving so you know where your uh, your your front uh, front is and there is also driver attention which warns you if you are sleepy maintenance safety support and warning so this all can be customizable and you can use whichever you want and there is also this cool bit of animation that it uh, it changes to every time you try to change to another dial coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is manually adjustable tilt and telescopic and on your uh, right side you would find 
uh, cruise control which is adaptive cruise control and also you get the lane assist now that lane assist is an interesting feature because it actually keeps you in the center of the lane but it can be intrusive on many occasions when you are driving and you just want the control so yeah but it works pretty good and on the left side you would find the infotainment controls and also the controls to uh, use the the dashboard screen there is like a scroller with which you can change the menus and everything on here also the communication options the air conditioning system has manual controls all around so even the dials are such a quality and plush you know the fit and finish is pretty amazing and these dials are color changing dials so if you reduce the temperature they go blue and if you increase the temperature they go red that is such a cool thing especially at night when you are trying to change the temperature it looks really cool and it's a dual zone air conditioning system and there are uh, rear vents for the rear passenger now you also get a big sunroof and it's pretty big when i say like it's really good so for a sedan especially and the visibility from the rear glass is pretty good like uh, and these are uh, uh, auto dimming uh, rear glass now coming to the infotainment system it's an 8 inch infotainment screen and it's it's a uh, it's a completely redesigned honda system and i am so glad because this is such a nice system the previous one was a, a little bit all over the place but then this is such a sorted one it's all it's almost like your phone like you know when you are trying to use it so and the options are well laid out and there are shortcut buttons on top and also you get the uh, navigation system from garvin which is pretty good there is also phone option settings the settings are in depth where you can change your sound lights your various other bits related to the car there is fm so in terms of connectivity you get bluetooth you get usb and also there is apple carplay so there is only apple carplay currently and not android auto continuing with the menu you get the trip computer and some more options like your clock and everything the clock is a cool feature where you can show the clock on the on the screen whichever you want a digital or uh, an analog one and also there is like a, a theme uh, the wallpaper that you can change on the screen also there are buttons given on both the sides for easy control so everything has a button to it and also the dials are given for the volume and the uh, other uh, menu options that you can scroll using the dials and these dials also have such a nice fit and finish and feel to it now in terms of the storage space you would find one liter worth of bottle in the door cars there are two cup holders out here there is a big center console out here along with this tray which is removable so you can remove it again it has rubber uh, sort of uh, base to it so that nothing falls from it but it's a big center uh, armrest and uh, there is also a glove box it drops pretty quickly so you gotta be careful when you try to drop that um, there is also uh, some more storage at the bottom of the dashboard for your phones if you are going to charge it now in terms of the charging you get two usb ports one in the front and one in the center uh, armrest and also there is one 120 watt power socket again in the front and one 120 watt power socket in the center armrest but for the rear passengers there are none I was expecting at least one or two maybe the seats are ventilated seats so they are uh, cooled and heated seats so both the options are given on the dashboard itself and the driver seat is uh, eight way electronically adjustable along with four way uh, lumbar support which is again uh, adjustable from the seat itself and the passenger seat is four way electronically adjustable but these seats are pretty comfortable and they go very deep at the like look at this the adjustment that you can make i am almost sitting on the floor and you can raise them and these seats have the shoulder on both the sides so you know you fit quite well inside the seat so back seats are the ones where you want to be in the honda accord because look at the leg space and also there's fair bit of head space also but if you are more than six feet things could be a little tight but otherwise it's pretty broad and the seats are humongous like even the center seat has no hump so you can sit although there is like a like a tunnel which goes but the, this is still a front wheel drive but 
I don't know why there is a tunnel but um, so you can actually put your feet around it and it's not a very race tunnel but you can easily sit so even the middle passenger can sit comfortably but otherwise these seats are again black leather seats and in the back the plastic choice is again normal plastic along with this wooden trim again the plastic wooden trim which has been given in the back you can put like half a liter of bottle and then there are these AC vents in the back so you can just control the flow of air that is pretty much it again there are no charging plugs or anything or even USB there is also eight speaker music system in this car and there is also an armrest but it sits a little low but it's all right and also there are two cup holders out here and then whenever you don't want to use it you can put it so the Honda Accord comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder DOHC which is a dual overhead camshaft uh, IV tech petrol engine that produces 198 brake horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque now this engine is mated to a cvt transmission so most of the hondas you would find a cvt transmission but then what i find is and which is always the case is that the cvt has a lag in the response initially so let me demonstrate to you that so when i especially uh, getting off the line and also while suddenly if you want to just accelerate it's it's very very sluggish and you know lazy when it wants to get off like so it takes its own sweet time and then there's this thing which is the CVT noise which is which is because it is spooling up and then you know uh, increasing the gearing ratio so that's pretty okay because at the low they, this happens only at the lower end but then when you uh, are at at fair amount of speed it's a pretty decent cruiser and also the nvh levels are pretty much kept in check because of the newer platform which is lighter and also much more stiffer and also this prevents a lot of sound leak into the cabin especially at higher speeds i mean it's pretty impressive for a mid-size sedan to do this actually honda accord is is one of the top three mid-size sedans and there is a reason for that because you know honda knows how to make good cars so they never make bad cars that's that's a fact i mean a bit here and there but then they are always on point so otherwise the suspension is on the softer side because to give you the comfort during the longer journeys there's bare minimum roll coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is an electronic steering but again it's got a bit of uh, uh, a difference in the the actual feel so i can actually feel the steering wheel is hard like it, it is able to turn smoothly it is uh, giving me the feedback but i know sometimes that you know the wheels are trying to take uh, traction or i am slightly under steering at higher speeds but then still the steering tries to just pretend that everything is normal and that sometimes is a bit annoying but I mean you are never going to do that but it's just that it, it was just me noticing that and it was hard to figure out after that and I had to tell you guys so otherwise the steering is pretty responsive and it's an electronic steering so it also changes its nature accordingly to the speed and that is pretty all right also the honda accord does pretty well with the fuel economy so it would deliver anywhere between 12 to 14 so on an average you can take it as a 13 and that is not bad for a car this big because let's be honest this is a broad and a long car coming to the brakes they are pretty instant and you know they cover the entire pedal uh, travel range so it's not like initially there is no response and then you know there is in most of the cars but in this it's pretty down straight to the job from the moment you press the pedal now coming to the safety systems honda goes all out to make sure that you have the best in line safety system so you get two front airbags for the passenger and the driver two side airbags again for the passenger and the driver and there are four curtain airbags two in front and two for the rear passenger see what i mean like eight passenger airbags just in this car and there is also tire pressure monitoring system there are child isofix points on both the seats in the rear there is also ebd which is your electronic brake distribution electronic brake assist there is emergency brake assist so there's also a single camera system and three different views to select from on the screen and the output from the screen is pretty good like right during the day you also get the grids to assist while reversing there's also honda's famous 
lane watch assist so that is when you are trying to take a, a right turn there is a camera mounted on the side mirror on the right side mirror and then that will show you the visuals on your screen so that you don't miss the blind spots or you can easily turn in whenever you want to take that right turn and it's right there on your screen so you don't have to move your head there is also hill start assist there is also agile handling assist there is also vehicle stability control which is your traction control so in all there is like ample of uh, safety systems and the standard safety systems that you need on these cars so honda has filled them in fact with more than you know the usual so that is a pretty good thing so this particular model is a honda accord EXL. So there are five different variants that you can uh, choose from, but this particular is the top of the line EXL, which is why it's fully loaded. As I mentioned before, it's it's hard for Hondas to make a bad car because they've always made like good cars. I mean, it's all right, a few technological bits here and there, but the basic recipe that they have is bang on. So you know, you are never, and it is one of the top selling cars in the UAE and in uae if you are going to be cruising around with your family you want to make sure that you have uh, the comfort and the safety features which is what this car delivers in that respect i think this is a car worth you know considering when you are planning to uh, think of buying a mid-size sedan because it's pretty spacious i mean you really have to see it to understand how big this car is Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, then click here. And if you want to watch more videos, then click here. I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.